In this video, I'll show you what is Convex Chef, how I built and deployed my entire app with a few prompts, and why I think Convex is probably the most prepared tool for non-coders to launch actually reliable web apps. Honestly, I haven't found any AI app builder before that works seamlessly for non-technical users. For most of the time, they prefer spending hours inside of NAN configuring each node, then trying to design the front end using an AI. Because either their AI app builder they're using just sucks and doesn't really manage to get authentication, for example, done, or it integrates with so much tools that you have to learn how to configure each one of those dashboards and then the infrastructure just becomes a nightmare. Comix is the best tool I've found recently that helps us not only build fast and easy, but also have a reliable production ready app. If you've seen my recent video, I tried building this inside of Cloud Code. Now the thing is that Cloud Code will build this just fine. The problem is what you'll do with it after it's built. You have everything working locally, but then how do you get that to production and working effectively? I'm nerding out because of Convex, so I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me first show you what it actually generated. This isn't a admin dashboard full of dummy data. This actually has a database behind of it, and you can check out that database right over here. Not only the database, but all the functions that it's using, cache hits, failure rates, and if you've ever tried building an app that uses files, like let's the user upload an image or a video, you know the headache that it is configuring everything. Here it's already done, and the LM will have access to how it should implement the lines of code that can create this. So basically, instead of going over to another dashboard and configuring everything for file storage, now you just specify to the LM, hey, I want to have file storage, use Convex. And it's pretty much done. You also have a schedules tab, and this is amazing because you basically have access to whenever you need to execute a recurring function or you have some kind of feature that you want to be checked every single day. Convex has that. So whenever you type something in here or even in cloud code specifying that you want to use Convex, it will implement it all for you without you having to worry about any third party apps. I'll explain the app using ScollyDraw. It should be pretty simple. Basically, I want to use a specific link and this link should be easily adapted with just a slash and a number because I don't want to always generate a different URL. And so this file number is basically an ID for that specific video. All I needed the app to do is whenever the person clicks on this link, they get sent to my convex endpoint, which does two things. It first tracks that link, so it understands, okay, which was the time that this link was clicked on, from which country does this link come from as well, which is the ID of the video I received, and it gets all this data and saves it over in the database. As soon as that's done, and it should be fairly fast, it redirects the user to my actual school URL. Now, I know that I could just use a UTM, but it's just me being annoying and wanting it to be the shortest way possible and the easiest way where I don't have to really type in anything. I could just get, okay, which was the last video? It was the video, I don't know, like 23. So now the next link is just 24. But yeah, I think you got the point. This entire app idea might just be me overthinking. But as someone that just loves building things, it really gets me excited to build this so fast. And I can show you it already working right now. Let me open up an anonymous tab and go over to the iForger slash three, for example. As soon as I hit enter, it does all that and redirects me over to school. The thing about redirecting like this is because I have a ref up here and I really don't want to post this entire link inside of the description of the video. This was even a recommendation from Nick Sarev so that every time I send someone over to school and in a window of 14 days, if they buy a community inside of school, I get an affiliate share from that purchase. So yeah, this is an actual app that I needed not only for the reference link, but also to keep track of which videos are retaining the most amount of clicks and how can I improve my content based on the data that I'm receiving. And all that data can be tracked right here. As you can see, I already played placed my custom domain, as well as the custom domain for the endpoint, as I showed you. And what makes this even more fascinating is that it's working live. So if I type in the AIforger.com slash, let's say 18, as soon as I hit enter, you should see the total clicks change to 20. There you go. So it's updated as soon as any user uh, used that specific link. And then it lists everything, not only here in this chart of the weekly clicks, but also inside of a monthly calendar where I can click on that. A dialog opens and shows all the clicks from that specific day. A video leaderboard, this video leaderboard is amazing because it has caching and pagination. 
let me just access a bunch of different uh, random videos here. And another thing that you would probably worry about while building something like this is what if someone discovers this and just starts typing in random numbers just like I am to kind of mess up all your data. Well, Convex can really help you with that just by providing you a rate limiting based on IP. So if there's a specific IP that's typing in random IDs, it should be able to identify that and block that specific IP for an hour or two or an entire day. Okay, so now I inserted a bunch of different data here. We have a second page. And if I click next, you'll see that uh, while it's loading, it shows a pretty neat skeleton. Then we get to the second page where we see the rest of the videos listed. This app also has an authentication. So I can sign out, type in my email, place in all of my credentials, hit sign in, and I should connect just fine. Obviously this is an admin dashboard and I don't want anyone to be creating an account to access all my data, but I'm basically one prompt away from achieving that. And now is when I show you exactly which prompts I use to build everything that you've seen here. This was my first prompt. Following that prompt, I had this prompt right here. And after that, none more. All that was built with two prompts already working with a fully functional database, which you can check directly inside of Chef. Just go over to the database tab, data, and here is all the tables that you have available. With just those two single prompts, I managed to generate the redirects table that manages the main feature of the app. It created the users table, it created authentication, along with an admin dashboard with a pretty nice design, caching, and even a way for me to preview everything directly inside of my dashboard. Let's cook something up with Chef. I've already written the entire prompt here, but basically I wanted to apply the rate limiting and I also wanted to have a dialogue where I can open it up and reference that specific number because I don't want to like look in here and I like click here and see video two, what is video two? right? This video two is probably like slash two, but which is this video inside of my actual YouTube channel? So I want to be able to attach a title for that specific video. Feel free to pause the video and steal my prompt. Okay, it seems like it finished up everything. Uh, the database now has videos. These videos are probably referencing those numbers. Let me just hit F5 to see if it updates. Nice, so we have this manage videos button now. Let's see which is my, okay, video three is the top one. Uh, let's place that here. How to use convex. Add video. Okay. Now if I exit that, I get that title, how to use convex. Uh, I believe that if I go inside of a date that uses that, I also get the how to use convex. Yeah, that was extremely easy. The only thing that I think is missing from Chef is actually attaching this to GitHub because then when I deploy it here, then it can deploy to production, which is in my Versal instance. But for now, to get this over to production, I basically hit download code. I then grab that, replace it inside of my actual repository. Then as soon as I push it to GitHub, it updates my production app. And yes, this is a sponsored video by Convex, but before you think that I'm being unbiased here just because of that, give it a shot yourself. Try to build anything using their free plan. I believe the free plan has around 85,000 tokens and I just used 50 thousand tokens to produce this entire app. And just in case you're out of tokens, you can always come over here in settings and place in your own favorite LLM API key. To build with Convex, you're also not limited to only building using Chef. It's open source, so if you generated something in here and you just want to download the code and continue building it from Cloud Code or Cursor, you can do that just fine. They even mentioned this in the documentation. There's a Convex Rules TXT file which you can import inside of your project, and Cloud Code, for example, will have full context of the Convex documentation. You'll still be using their backend infrastructure, so back in the dashboard, inside the Usage tab, you can keep up with how much of each feature was used. There is a generous limit in the free plan. But once you understand the average consumption of your app, you can come over to the pricing page and estimate the monthly cost. So with one team member, three million function calls, and let's say one billion documents stored, you'd be charged $62.68 for this example. Now I'll explain why I think Convex might dominate the AI web app building industry. And please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Two years ago, I had a project to finish over the weekend. It was a complete full stack SaaS that used AI to analyze YouTube thumbnails. That's when because of one of my favorite channels, Web Dev Cody, I met Convex. The design was taken care of by just using Chad Sien. But the actual core of an app, what actually does some Something with the data received is the back end. And wow, database, cron jobs, real time updates, file storage, everything was as easy as adding some lines of codes without worrying about infrastructure all the time and the endless dashboard setups. If your app was a restaurant, Convex would be the kitchen that automatically knows what each table ordered, keeps track of inventory, and updates everything in real time. 
When a customer changes their order, the kitchen instantly knows and adjusts. No miscommunication between waiters, cooks, and managers. Now, from a developer's perspective, the first thing that comes to mind is this chart. The easier it is, the more limited it gets. Limited in terms of what we can build and the lack of control over the infrastructure. But that's exactly what Theo talks about in this extremely interesting overview. It clicked for me that Convex is the only true infra as code platform. Everyone else is trying to glue this concept of infra as code to random poorly formatted config files. No one actually had a thing that required no time in a dashboard where I could take this code give it to someone else and they could immediately set it up with no configuration on their convex account instead. That was a huge, oh shit, I see the light moment for me. There is a cost for maintaining the hard infrastructure work. And going for a convex, even with his full production ready app, eventually was saving him $1,500 per month. My point is that two years ago, they were already laying the foundation for building entire web apps fast since everything is integrated. And it's all integrated with TypeScript, which is pure text. And guess what loves text with great context? LLMs. It just makes everything extremely easier for AIs. And that's what got me extremely excited about Convex lately. I'm making my entire brand focused on instructing even extremely non-technical users on how to build entire web apps. Because of that, I've considered about three similar AI coding platforms that reached out for sponsorship but whenever I test them myself, trying to create actual apps, well, they would always fail. Even simple authentication was a struggle to set up. I just couldn't recommend it inside of my community, the AI Forge, nor in the channel. And the platforms that had a working authentication, for example, would have some dependency with another third-party app, which would be just another dashboard for you to configure. I'm a builder myself, and I understand the feeling of wanting to build something, but having to worry about the dozen of third-party tools, which each has their own dashboard I'll need to configure, and an expense to worry about. And all this just to launch a simple MVP. Using Convex, I've only really need to integrate Vercel as a hosting service since Convex focuses on providing backend infrastructure. But honestly, it's like a one minute configuration. And additionally, it is open source, so you can also self host it yourself if you want to. So, from the perspective of a full stack web developer, and by the feedbacks I get from the members at the AI Forge, it really sounds like Convex has one of the best setup for anyone that is non technical and wants to build something, actually get it to production, actually have people using their website with a payment system, for example, like Stripe already hooked in. As you can probably tell, I'm really excited about this, and you'll probably be seeing a bunch of of tutorials on how you can build your entire web app using Convex in some of my following videos. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.